UK accused of targeted killing after drone strike on arms dealer 2 is. Britain has been accused of reviving a policy of targeted killing after it emerged that the RAF had killed an arms dealer linked to Islamic State in a precision drone strike in Syria at the end of October. Reprieve, a human rights charity, asked what are the criteria used to justify who can be targeted in a what are the criteria drone strike, and called on ministers to tell the Commons why this strike was deemed necessary. The group's comments come after the Ministry of Defense announced on its website, more than a month after the attack, that the crew of the Reaper drone, armed with 100 pounds Hellfire missiles, had tracked a known terrorist in northern Syria. In a brief statement, the mod added, and at a safe moment, when the individual was alone in a field, carried out a successful attack. The drone raid took place on 25th of October and was disclosed on 27th of November. Subsequent reporting by the Syrians for Truth and Justice, SDJ backslash, group, based on interviews conducted on the ground, concluded that the victim was Abu Hamza al shahail a well-known arms dealer in the region who had sold weapons to several parties during the long-running Syrian conflict a well-known arms dealer in the region. Jennifer Gibson, who leads for reprieve on extrajudicial killings, said, this announcement, slipped out on a quiet Saturday morning on the MOD website, appears to herald a new UK government targeted killing policy. So what are its criteria for tracking and killing? How did it determine that this person was worthy of assassination? And why wasn't Parliament consulted or even informed? The MOD said it had not changed its policy and said the UK has a robust target clearance process, operates under strict rules of engagement, and is fully compliant with international law. It published regular updates on airstrikes conducted against its targets for a robust target clearance process, operates under strict rules of engagement, and is fully compliant with international law a spokesperson added. The drone strike on al shahail appears to have been conducted in conjunction with Turkey. Shortly after the attack, Turkish ground troops encircled a nearby farm and killed a gunman in the compound linked to al shahail including two unconnected civilians who had been nearby, the STJ added. al shahail had recently relocated near Razaline, an area controlled by the Turkish military, having been smuggled out of an area controlled by the Syrian Kurds. Kurdish defense forces had asked the arms dealer that he help them locate his cells in the area and find the places where his hid weapons, according to the local reports, a request that had him he help them locate his cells in the area and find the places where his hid weapons. RAF fighters and drones have been engaged in more than 5,000 missions against his in Syria since MPs voted in favor of military intervention in the country in December 2015. Strikes in Iraq were authorized in September 2014. Reprieve said it believed the raid was the first track and kill drone operation targeting an own individual to be acknowledged by the UK since the killing of 21-year-old Britain Radcon in Syria in August 2015 by an RAF drone strike, although the circumstances were different. At the time MPs had not voted for air raids against its targets in Syria, only Iraq. A fortnight later, David Cameron, then the Prime Minister, came to Parliament to justify the targeting of Khan, describing it as necessary and proportionate for the individual self-defense of the UK. Intelligence indicated that the jihadist and other associates were plotting to attack high-profile public commemorations, Cameron added, and it emerged that the UK had drawn up a kill list of his targets following the 2015 general election. Reprieve hopes the recent drone strike will be the subject of questions to the Defense Secretary, Ben Wallace, when he appears in the Commons on Monday. There is no immediate evidence that al shahail had any connection or link to the UK.